So, how's it going, guys? It's been a very, very, very long time since a uh, since the last video. So many things have happened. So many complications, adulting life, whatsoever, and now and then. And even now, even the way this video is going, it's kind of not really intended uh, the way I was planning to do this. I meant to be filming it kind of along the way while I was working on the car, but I'm just gonna do the talking head. It's what I can, it's the best I can do. But in any case. Uh, we're, we're gonna be working on the Z32 today. We're finally, we're gonna be taking the plenum and stuff apart because I was, I'm getting ready to send the car over to Brandon at Fair Lady Customs to get the body work done to the back end and whatnot, but uh, and the front end so the hood sits. But uh, before I can get it there, uh, before I can even get on the tow truck, I want to change out the fuel injectors and the oxygen sensors because they've been giving me trouble. The car has been backfiring a lot lately, and with the uh, fuel injectors, since a lot of them is the early style instead of the newer style, those tend to fail. And um, I've really only been able to replace three of them because those bolts are, uh, you know, pretty hard to get to because, you know, uh, with the Phillips screws and all that, and most of the Z32 community already knows what I'm talking about, but they're pretty old. And if you try to use a regular Phillips head with them, they'll strip. So I have a special tool that should pretty much break them open on the first try without even uh without messing with threads and i'll never have to see them again but uh yeah i guess if you just uh follow along this video you'll be able to check this out and whatnot and, and uh hope you all enjoy it and uh i pretty much come to the agreement that uh i'm never really gonna make money on this platform so i'm that with that being said i'm gonna do things my way so I'm not using that terrible crappy youtube music today's first uh, artist that's going to be on this channel featured is one of my favorites and I'm very very glad I get to support his music on here. Kiefer Green. Hope you all enjoy. Hey Peace. Gang, welcome back. Welcome back man. We are hanging in here having some fun. Please make some noise for my brother Most Def. Pull up to your spot on low, shine brighter than all of the caps that got on low. Lay in the cup like they not going low, cause if I gotta make a move though, they not going low. The door more private, this is not for show. It's most of what you call real for show. Is they what you call gangster? Hell no. They get a little pinch and go switch to the pole. They all talk fast, but they all think slow. I'm most definite not think so. Budget city with the black ain't flow. Now my fool ain't scared to let them things go. So stop with the nonsense. I keep conscious. I'm just awake, dog. I'm doing great, dog. I don't play games. So I don't play a hate, y'all. Get it straight and get the fuck up on my face, dog. I'm like the second plane that made the towers face off. This shit to let you know it's really not a game, dog. Your grind and my grind ain't the same, dog. I'm the catalog. You the same song. So cool and old school like a ball. You want a little mom that's running the big place for. You want a real nigga. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, you ripped. You ripped the hose. You bastard. All right. Well, all of all welded in as well. Check it out. See, the only thing you need to do right here is snarl your fucking head. Fucking superstars, feeling like a pop star. Drinking in it bad, bitches jumping in the pool and I ain't got on no bra. In the front of back, pulling on the tracks and now she screaming out no more. They like savage, why you got a 12 car garage and you only got six cars? Gee, y'all seeing that? See that right there? Oh no, sorry, not that one. You say you see that right there? Hold on, let me focus in on. Yeah, that right there. Look at look at that wire all messed up. Oh jeez. Uh, now uh, most of y'all are probably wondering why I'm not going going ahead and uh, finishing the car. But you know why bother taking everything apart if you're not going to put it back together? And it's mostly because I'm just kind of strapped for time. I am a truck driver, so every month I am gone over the road only to come back home for about, what, four or five days to do what I need to do. And whenever I come back for those four or five days, who is the main one that takes up my time? Family, siblings, girlfriend, other friends. And, uh, oh, not to mention, you know, Columbia car meets and all the events that go along. And I just really don't have time to be doing all the things that I want to. I'm like, sure, I'd love to be able to take this car and do content, you know, day by day and whatnot. But I think I'm basically going to be kind of more like a Nakey Jakey kind of YouTuber where I'm like, you'll see me every, like, once a month or so. And we'll just do a whole bunch of stuff in that one month's time span. So just drive along for the ride. The good news, though, is by the time the next video comes out, uh, should have much higher quality and an entirely different look as far as the way I'm going to be doing the filter system and possibly a newer lens to get some of those uh, those uh, high quality shots, those really up close shots without me having to put the camera really, really close up to things. I'm hoping to get my 56 millimeter lens pretty soon. It cost a bit. That's the main reason why I haven't gotten is like 400. Fifty dollars or something like that. It's pretty pricey. A little too pricey, honestly.
Hmm. Hope y'all are enjoying the music so far. Okay, so yeah, so now we finally got all the injector connectors off and we got the, uh, there's a gnat flying around me, the injector connectors off and we finally got all of the uh, lines around to clean them off. So now we're finally at the home stretch. All I gotta do now is uh, take off the front connectors like by the uh, PTU and this uh, crank angle sensor and down here by the air filter and then uh, disconnect the wires over here around and then go ahead and take that thing off. So let's go around and get to it. Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. I had to run a check or I had to walk my life up. Like, why I get these bad from? Like, why I put it high up? I stayed down, even though, and I can't. Stupid me didn't even see the plug right there. I'm just like, I just did this. Yeah. Well, that one fell. <laughs> Let's see. Where'd you go? Ooh, spider webs. Oh, gee. No, fuck it. It can stay down there. I'll get it later. You gotta lift the car thing. Maybe the rotor. Hopefully, it didn't land on the subframe. I have to get a magnet and see. Oh, the ones at the bottom. 
for the sake of time, I'm just gonna fast forward until, you know, I get all of them off on this side. There's no point in you waiting here, watching me do this. All right, guys, we're finally at the end. All that's left is to take these top bolts off and then the whole thing comes off, so so I can get to it. Oh, you know, I did forget something. There's a ground right there. I didn't even notice it. What is that, a 12? Yeah. Right. I know y'all saw that shift. I know y'all saw that shift in the plane. It's almost done. Just gotta do that ground. All right, I think it's ready. So it should, and I think that's just about everything. We got all the coil packs off. We got all the wires off. We got plugs. Um, this one right here, it's going to slide off anyways. And then this should slide off itself. So without further ado. Hmm, wait, I think there's something. Oh, no, wait, no, that's not it. That's not. Good. Oh, wait, oh, wait. What is that? What is that? Uh, wait, no, never mind. That's not a ground that's connected to the cleanup. So, it should just come up. Get this side. Feels like something holding it, holding it in place over here, and I don't know what. Because I don't see anything. That is just awful. <laughs> Alright, as y'all can see, it's highly messy in there. So, I'm going to uh, get the vacuum and try to vacuum as much stuff off the top as possible before I even lay some torque. Before I even lay the towels inside and whatnot. I take you to the Hit my hand. 
Happy day. So when I get back, putting the new injectors on it be as easy as pie. So now that out the way, the only thing I have to focus on is come back. So the whole car back together is my uh, uh, oxygen sensors. We'll see if that works. Well, uh, sorry you guys didn't get to see the last part of that video, but uh, we actually did manage to get the ox... I, I keep saying we. I actually managed to get the oxygen sensors off. It took quite a bit of time. Uh, the ones on the passenger side was really easy. It just came off like that, but the driver side one was the main. It was, it was a bitch. It was, it was such a fucking cut. I hated it. <laughs> but uh, we, got, we got it off. No biggie. Um, I had to spray that thing with quite a lot of PV blaster. But either way, I'm happy it's gone. Yeah, the O2 sensor has probably been driving me nuts lately. Uh, it's probably the main one that's causing the car to act a certain way. Like it won't rev past 30, 30, well, 3,500 RPM. It won't go any fast. It won't go any farther than that. And it won't go up any higher than 70 miles an hour on a flat road unless you're on a downhill. So finally got that all together the injectors are free as you can see from that tool i'm happy about that too so uh, when i get back in a month or so we'll go ahead and put everything together and then we'll probably start working on the cavalier next i got the shifter over there and i also have uh the uh all the parts i need for the front end conversion i got the hood the lights and the front bumper but i just need those headlight brackets i'm having a hard time finding them uh, if I can't find them soon, I'm just going to give up and I'm probably just going to do the 95 front end instead of doing the 2000 to 2002 front end because I'm like, I have the 2000 to 2002 stuff. But if I do the 95 front end, I could just use that one piece headlight and then just bolt it down instead of having to use a bracket for it. So that'll save me some time because other than that, every time I go to the junkyard, the brackets are always bent or they're missing and I can't use them. But yeah, I guess, uh, well, I'm not gonna go and I'm not gonna go and say big things to come like all these other YouTubers do because I'm like, really, it's just all down to finances. I'm paying for this all myself, and since I'm not really gonna be making much off this channel, and ever since I'm just like, well, it's really, it's really down to me as far as money costs. So, but I will try to do some things differently with this car. We're definitely gonna be utilizing a lot of uh, Ralph Merlin's parts, Polar Engineering's parts. BDE's parts and um, engineer performance racing parts. I want, their, I want their whole catalog on this car. I love their stuff. I was just like, finally, the Z32. What is that? And finally, the Z32 gets some cool ass parts instead of, you know, I like Z1 and I like Concept Z, but they're not really pushing the car farther past its limits like other platforms do. And. Uh, I, it, it doesn't really take much to see that. When you look at the quality of the parts that uh, Brett Dempsey or uh, Ralph Merlin bring to the table, uh, it's it's a whole nother level. I'm just like, hell, I'm gonna be the first one to get that expensive ass uh, GTR style plenum with the carbon fiber bit. Not that I really care about being the first one, but I'm just like, I'm gonna support that definitely. Shit. So, I'll see you guys next month. We'll just see how it goes from there. Maybe I might have some more parts. We'll see from there. I'm hoping to get those valve covers from uh, Ralph. Uh, if I can't get those, then I guess I'll try to do his top feed fuel rail system. But I'm kind of more or less aiming for those valve covers. I want those fucking valve covers. <laughs> I just need to message him on Instagram. So, until then, peace. Oh, and drink some juice. It's good for you niggas. I'm going on an airplane, and I don't know if I'll be back again. Sure enough, I sent the plane tickets, but when she came, the kitchen things became different. Any girl I cheated on, she just it on, couldn't keep it at home, thought I needed a knee alone. I'm trying to right my wrongs, but it's funny the same wrongs. Tell me